Hello everyone, this is Yana Smakula for Spellbinders Paper Arts, and I'm excited to share a Mother's Day card featuring easy colored die cuts. I will be using the Succulent Garden die set from the Die Delights collection from Spellbinders, as well as a beautiful Grateful Lattice expandable pattern die to create my project today. I'm going to begin by die cutting several plant images from the Succulent Garden die set out of white cardstock. I'll be using my alcohol markers to color these to add depth and dimension later. I'm using my platinum die cutting and embossing machine. I already have my base platform and my dies and paper are sandwiched in between two clear cutting plates. I'm going to cut these elements out and also emboss them to give additional detail. I'm using my base platform, my embossing mat and blue embossing plate to emboss these. Then using my Spellbinders tool-in-one to help me get the die cuts out of the dies. I'll need about three of each image, so I'll go ahead and die cut these several times and we'll set aside for now. I also want to die cut one additional element from my project and I'm using this beautiful Grateful Lattice die and I'll cut a partial background piece. I'm not cutting an entire card front, just a slightly smaller element, and I'll also trim it with my scissors to create an irregular background to house my succulents. You don't need to emboss this die, just cut it. I like to use my tool-in-one to help me get the die cut out of the die. Now be sure to save the little negative pieces for now. We will use a few of those to fill in our background later. So I'm going to use my scissors and just trim parts of this die cut to make it more creative for my project. I've already prepped a base panel with a pre-stamped sentiment and I'm just measuring my die cut making sure it's not too big and not too small for my card. I need it to be just slightly smaller than my panel here, yet large enough to cover a large portion of the project. Once that is done, I'm going to use foam adhesive squares and adhere this onto my card base and we'll set it aside and work on my succulents. Like I said earlier, I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color these images. I didn't want to cut these out of colored cardstock as I wanted to add some shading to these to make them look a bit more realistic. So I'm first using the chisel nib of my lighter marker and adding a base color to the entire die cut. Using a chisel nib just makes it faster. And then I'm coming in with a darker shade and adding shadows to the die cuts. This is a great way to create color die cuts even when you don't have a lot of different colors of cardstock. And you can use other mediums to color these as well, not just markers. I've colored my die cuts using watercolors and even spray inks and ink pads in the past, so there are a lot of options out there. I'm using several different colors here, green, warm yellow and pink. I'm also adding some physical dimension to some of my die cuts by shaping them with my fingers. Once all of my pieces have been colored, I can go ahead and begin creating the floral clusters on my project. I've already added an additional sentiment that reads, I hope your day is extra special just like you are, and I'm arranging the die cuts onto the panel. I'm also altering some of my die cuts as I go. You can see I've torn one of them to make it shorter, and I also cut another one apart with my scissors to make it appear smaller. This is a great way to alter your die cut elements to get more use out of them and more variety. I've already adhered those onto my card base, and now I'm just using the negatives to fill in some of the open sections on the background. I'm using foam adhesives here again and just foam mounting those in place. Finally, I'm going to adhere this panel onto a dark gray card base that measures 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inches, and we'll decorate this card with a few enamel dots. So here's another look at this project created using the Succulents Garden die set from Spellbinders. I hope you feel inspired to create with your Spellbinders die delights. Be sure to watch other video tutorials on our channel for more ideas. If you have any questions about this project, please leave them in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Spellbinders YouTube channel for more education and inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!